So uh, there's two types of hair, really. There's uh, hair that requires moisture and there's hair that requires protein. Uh, generally speaking, the majority, I would say 90% of hair requires moisture. And So uh, when you're talking moisture, yeah. uh, you're obviously not talking water. You're talking about products and treatments yeah. that are going to help infuse hydration back into the hair. Yeah, that's right. And hair, hair is often, uh, you know, I guess the majority of problem with hair would be flyaway, uh, would be brittle, uh, and just, just sort of generally dry. And I find that um, most of the time, nearly all the time, that could be resolved by just putting and infusing moisture back into the hair. Even if uh, the hair is, you know, in the protein camp where it is quite brittle uh, and has a tendency to break, still uh, putting moisture in the hair will give that hair. Uh, malleability yes. and stop it breaking. Yeah. So and I'm, give it that beautiful bouncy kind of yeah, thickness that yeah. you, everyone kind of dreams That's about. right. And and also the shine. So the moisture you get the shine, right. you get the smoothness uh, and uh, the malleability. So got, you know it stops the breakage. Can I ask you a question that we all want to know? What are the culprits of damage? Uh, Generally, it's, um, I mean, nowadays a lot of it's uh, from straightening irons. Yeah. Uh, but if, and does ionic or non-ionic make a difference? It can do. I mean, ionic uh, equipment is like the, the latest sort of phase with, uh, with, with, I guess, the hairdressing movement. Uh, and, it, and it does sort of convert the, uh, you know, positive and negative ions in the hair and so forth. But I do find that a lot of it's environmental. Right. Uh, you know, from sun, sea, surf, things like that. What about heaters in winter? Can that damage you? Yeah, well, winter, uh, the environment in general is drier. The right. atmosphere is a lot drier. So always people find that their hair is fly away and, uh, and just dry. You know, your skin's dry, your hair is dry. And that's predominantly because the atmosphere is a lot drier. So in terms of salon treatments, um, what are some of the salon hydration or damage preventative treatments that I would come to available? So I would always, uh, nearly always, put a moisture treatment in a client's hair uh, because I find that, that uh, ticks all the boxes. Yep. As a base. As a base, yeah. yeah. And, and the client's always going to have their hair feeling soft, luxurious, uh, shiny. And uh, you know, and malleable. So it's, it's going to stop the splitting and the break. Girls, are you getting this? Malleable is the key takeaway word. You know, you want your hair to have that. I can run my fingers through it. Here. Is that no right? one likes to have knots at the end, and no one <laughs> likes to have sort of breakage and split ends. So tell us honestly, how often should we be getting a trim? Uh, on long hair, seven to eight weeks. Wow. On short hair, four to six weeks. I'm going to ask you the million dollar question. These heat sprays and serums, and do we really need them? They are fantastic. They are? And I'm not saying that from a sales point of view. Like, uh, the, particularly the heat sprays, uh, if, you, if you spray that in, like, uh, top right hair, right. and uh, prior to you doing any ironing, yeah. uh, then you will protect your hair remarkably. You've heard it here. Thank you so much, Lou. You're welcome. And we're going to give everybody the opportunity to actually pick up some complimentary samples of the damaged products from Aveda. So absolutely get onto that. Because with summer coming, we have malleable, bouncing, like you said. Shiny, yeah. Shiny, absolutely. shiny, shiny, shiny malleable. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. Lovely Thank you. Lovely to see you. So my top tips for summer are to use a heat protectant. Uh, before you use any uh, blow drying or straightening iron uh, tools to make sure that you use like a chlorine uh, shampoo which is specific for removing chlorine after swimming and uh, just a really good uh, moisturizing shampoo for your hair type after any sort of uh, saltwater activity.